In this video, we're looking at application of combinations. And in this case, we're looking at some committee problems. And a lot of times, these application problems can be applied in, uh, to a lot of different situations. But in this case, we're talking about um, groups of people. Uh, so the, fir the, the fundamental theorem of counting, uh, if you've uh, studied this at all and watched some of my videos, says that um, if you take one element from um, each of a certain number of independent sets, the number of way you can, ways you can do that is by multiplying uh, together the number of elements from each set. Um, so if there's, you know, the classic problem is a sandwich problem. You've got three pieces of meat, kinds of meat, and th four breads and two cheeses. How many sandwiches can you make? And you do three times four times two. Well, this same theorem can be applied uh, when picking more than one thing from each set. Um, and so if you wanted to pick two breads, let's say, in that problem, then you figure out how many ways can I pick two breads, and that's what I multiply by. Instead of four, I multiply by um, the number of ways to pick two breads, which would be four choose two. Uh, so that's what we're going to do to apply on these problems. So in the first one, there are five boys and seven girls in a room. How many ways can two boys and three girls be selected? Well, the, the boys and the girls are independent of each other, so you just say, how many ways can I select the two boys? And so I do five choose 2, which equals 10, right? 5 times 4 over 2 times 1. And then I look at the girls, and I say 7 choose 3, which is what? 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is just 6, and so 7 times 5 is 35. So there's 10 ways to choose two boys. Well, each pair of boys can be um, paired up with each pair of girls. And so you got 10 times 35, or 350 ways that you can make this committee. Uh, this can be applied to card problems. Um, you know, how many ways can I get two reds and three black cards? Um, things like that. Same, same ideas. Um, problem number two is a little bit more challenging, because uh, it makes you think a little bit. First one says, there are five married couples at a party. How many ways can a man and a woman be selected to play chess if they cannot be married? Well, you, this one is, you can't quite use the fundamental theorem of, calcula of counting because the sets aren't going to be independent. Because once you choose the man, then that affects the set for the women. But you, you essentially can do it, kind of like a permutation problem. So you start with, how many ways can I select uh, one man? Well, there are five ways to select the man. Well, once I select the man, then I've got to select from the women, but I can select any of the women except for his wife, and so you can do 5 times 4, which would be 20. Another way to do it would be to, sit, to, to think about complementary counting, which would be to say um, there's 5 ways to select the man, 5 ways to select the woman, that's 25 combinations of men and women, but 5 of those are married couples, and so subtract away the 5 married couples to get 20. Whatever the case is, there are 20 um, ways to pick one, uh, two, a man and a woman which are not married. B is a little bit harder, so how many ways can two men and two women be selected if none of them can be married? Well, um, you could start by, there's a couple ways you could do this, but one way is you could start by selecting um, the two men, and so you do five, choose two, which means um, there are ten ways that you can select the two men. And so now that you've selected the two men, you've got to select up two women select two women to pair with them. Well, you can't select either of the wives of the two men, so that only leaves you with three women. And so you do three choose two, which would equal um three three choose two just turns out to be three. How many ways can you select um two people out of a group of three, which is always going to be three? And so you do ten times three which is 30. So there are 30 ways um, to um, make these groups happen. Uh, trying to do it other ways can be very challenging. Um, there, there, there are some other ways you could get to the answer, but by far the easiest way is to use this idea of um, selecting a certain number from each group and manipulating what those groups are.